The inspiration for Palawa came from the many, many global cities which offer great opportunities for their citizens to be the best that they can. And there is no reason why India should not have those kinds of cities which give its people the best lifestyle possible and at the same time give them the ability to enjoy the best professional and business success that they can dream about. The thought of Palawa came from the fact that you know, as India grows and as the Indian aspirations change, very few people in India or across the world have had the chance to participate in a lifetime creation of a mature city happening in front of their own eyes. And I think the vision of Palawa came from trying to do something like that for the people of Mumbai and the people of India. Palawa, 4,000 acres today, is 25% of the size of the island city of Mumbai. So it's not a project, it's not a township. It is a city that one is planning. When we first started working on Palava, we were always benchmarking what are the qualities of international cities that we wanted to bring to this project. We studied many European cities and American cities, Japanese cities, places like Singapore, which are high density, but very livable, lots of green and very smooth in their operations. We were trying to build a new city in India that had those international qualities. The master plan itself demonstrated these ethical standards very clearly. And you'll begin to notice that you could spend and traverse the entire length and breadth of Pallava without ever stepping on the road. Our idea was to develop a place that would draw on the cultural heritage of India. The new city would have cultural buildings, school buildings, commercial, retail, and a whole array of elements that make up the contemporary city. An important aspect was to organize the new city as a series of neighborhoods. Neighborhood living is actually a very simple concept. It's 5, 10, 15 minutes. It means that within 5 minutes, any resident will be close to his daily shopping requirements, to the bus stop, to take the internal bus. Within 10 minutes, he can get to his clubhouse, or walk to his school, or the place of worship. And within 15 minutes, he can go to the central business district, or some of the larger amenities like Olympic-sized sports complexes, or the riverfront, or the lakefront. You need to experience the feeling of Palawa to realize why it will give you a better life. But right from the fact that it is a planned city, to the kind of infrastructure being built out, and you don't need to go anywhere outside it, right from your jobs, your entertainment, to the malls, to the universities, to the schools. Everything is put together in one single place. So people go out when they want to, they don't go out because they need to. There is a lot of emphasis on making sure that safety, security and good governance are at the heart of Palawa. A lot of investment has been done in the infrastructure, making sure the design is such that every part of the city is constantly monitored through cameras. Palawa is the city of opportunity because opportunity lies in every corner of Palawa. Palawa hopes to serve business in a manner that no other uh, Indian city serves, make it very easy for business to do what they do best, leave all the interaction with outside authorities to the Palawa city management, making sure that you can get access to great quality of workforce, making sure that you have low cost of real estate, you have very good high quality infrastructures, you don't have to spend money on building your own infrastructure, your operational costs are low, 
creating an ecosystem which sustains business, which supports business because ultimately from business, from entrepreneurship, good jobs come and when good jobs come, the citizens' lives improve. We have planned over 30 schools which are going to be world-class teaching standards. The Loga World School is already operational and a great example of this. Then comes world-class universities which are multidisciplinary. It's not just engineering or only business. It will also have arts, it will have medicine, it will have uh, design and architecture. These universities will be linked to businesses, to the hospital, that will spur innovation, research and create numerous startups like universities in Boston. You will find when you go to Palla over a period of time that it will offer you opportunities of art, culture, music, in ways that you will not expect it to, to make you a well-rounded human being and to allow you to express yourself in every facet that you would like to express yourself in. Already 18,000 families have bought into the dream of Palava. Palava is happening, it's a reality. It's not just a plan of a future city. Thousands of families stay there today. Great facilities like a beautiful golf course, grade A school. Many sports facilities are already in place. This is not a kind of place that you go and buy an apartment. You are entering a new world, you're entering a new city, you're becoming a citizen of completely brand new vision in the country. Palawa offers you opportunity in every facet of life and at every nook and corner. It does not come once and go away, it is for eternity. It's a city that is planned to perfection and built keeping the next hundred years in mind.